Hello everybody and welcome back. Uh, this week's short update is going to be a short but exciting one. What happened was these boards turned up. I already had the proto board uh, but the review 1 and the uh, preview 2 came along and uh, we can now get colors at JLC PCB. They're all the same price. It's really cool and it's good looking so I liked the blackboard a lot. Uh, but let's do a short recap. So goal of this project was to build something that would work like a home computer and that would be built out of sort of normal cheap components. The boards should be uh, through hole and it should give everybody who could program um, the possibility to use this thing either as a shield or as a home computer and when the project was finished it should be usable by anybody by just turning it on and you should get a basic prompt and work on from there. So the first board was still well riddled with issues. There were a lot of uh, traces that were wrong, there were components that I hadn't thought of yet. And when I put it together, it looked kind of like this. It worked, but it needed some reworks, uh, barge wires, st simple stuff. You can actually expect things like that to happen. The power was okay though. And most of the bus traces to the joystick ports and keyboard and everything worked out. Uh, the ports were still reversed, but I could take care of that later. So about a week later, this one here appeared, which had noticeably some changes. It had the audio and MIDI part. Uh, I didn't put that on the first board because I wanted to see if this was working at all and if it wasn't I wouldn't have gone through so many lengths of um, designing everything. But the first board was good, the second board arrived and when it arrived I uh, put the components onto the audio part and apart from these uh, feedback resistors where I tried some different settings. Uh, this worked out pretty well. But there were some other things that uh, just popped up like the headphone jacks uh, being the wrong way around so you have to put them on the back of the board. Um, I went along and I fixed that and uh, by the time that I was done with this I had fixed all the routing issues. This board still has them. Uh, I had uh, reversed some of the uh, plugs that I had here, all, all of these little things. I was able to try out the, the new switches, so I was pretty happy with this board. And well, then this one came along. And I had already gone through a lot of lengths to test everything um, as far as I could test it. So I knew that the serial lines were working, I knew that the video was working. I had a notion what I had to do with the audio to get it working. This may still need one or the other reworks, but uh, it looks very good. I added the parts for Wi-Fi, so I can have a, uh, a ESP8266 on here. I added the power supply that required for that. I made sure that all of the connectors were the right way around and I did small redesigns with the components around uh, the Arduinos and the Teensies. And this board actually led to this here. Ta-da! Which is basically the final computer or the main board of the computer. And uh, I've got a speaker attached to this one. I have all the components mounted. I've tested them. Um, the very cheap switch only 
joysticks from the Commodore era are working. Uh, it's really nice. It, it's basically it is almost perfect. There, there's so many small things that I addressed and when I came around and built this board it just worked. The only thing that needs a rework is the audio because I was well I had a false assumption um, over the uh, amplification of this chip which is a TA2025. Uh, I was under the impression that you could tune down its amplification to like 10 decibels uh, but you can't go below something like 36 to 38 without running into issues. So that's about it. This is the board that I've been testing with and I've been testing it a lot. I'm currently working on the software that keeps all the different controllers in sync and I have to rewrite the keyboard sketch because I just didn't find any sketch that would provide what I wanted to do and I thought it was a good training exercise so I'll be doing that for a couple of evenings but apart from that um, I wanted to show off this board because this is just gorgeous uh, it's got everything it's got the joystick ports it's got video it's got audio out um, it sounds good uh, when going to an amplifier and it sounds good on speakers uh, it's got the MIDI ports connected and I tested them electrically. Uh, for some reason the MIDI keyboard that I used to have um, has seemingly gone the way of the Dodo, which means it's nowhere to be found. But I'll figure something out that I can test these or I, I can have somebody, I've got somebody who's got a board so we can do some testing with that. Uh, the parallel port appears to be working okay, power is working, I do have a fuse on there which was something that I really wanted because uh, for some people this will be lying around and I don't want any short circuits to, to kill components uh, more than it has to so um, fuses still work. Uh, it's got the on off power switch which is also working. And it has the front-facing SD card module uh, that is connected to the IOTNZ. It's not working yet. I haven't thought of anything how to connect it yet, but that will come in time, I suppose. So, yeah, this is what I wanted to share. Um, the files that are on EasyEDA are this plus the changes needed for the audio. Uh, I don't know if there's anything still hidden in here, but I suspect it's pretty good right now. So uh, I'm, I'm gonna remove the warning not to go out and try and buy this. Uh, the parts list, the bill of material that is on Easy EDA is uh, finished and working. I was able to order all the parts from LCSC, uh, except the two MIDI ports, uh, they just don't have them. And I have two boxes like this one here, uh, which is full of electrical components, uh, but I was able to get everything I needed. So the design is done, the parts list is done, and you can basically get everything from them that you need, then you would still need the, uh, what is it called, SD module, the breakout board, the ESP, and a TNZ 3.5 or 3.6, a TNZ 3.2, or you could have a 3.6 on here, it doesn't really matter, and an Arduino Nano. And basically that's it. Um, the LED stripe up here, which is a 2812 is optional um, as is the speaker on the lower side. Everything apart from that is uh, supplied. I'm going to supply a bit more documentation. If anything is missing just open an issue. I'll see that I can get it done. And um, yeah that's it. That is 
a micro me uh, hardware done uh, I'm working on the software I'm trying to provide the basic sketches to get everything talking I'm trying to provide a small test program and then um, the real work is going to start which means putting basic on this thing or some sort of interpreted language and uh, yeah then it's up to making a home computer from it the thing about this is and and I've actually got some messages about this. This does not have anything to do with the thing that the 8-bit guy is building. It is completely different. Um, and it's supposed to be different because if I'm going to go out and buy his computer, I'd have the same thing twice if I was trying to do what he was doing. No, this is completely different. This is meant for people who can program. Um, because you can basically have all these components do what you want. Uh, it's not fixed in function, it is not fixed in, in what it can do and how it works. It is basically open to whomever wants to program it and that was really important to me. Also this is not an 8-bit platform so these teensies are 32-bit and the, the Nano is 8-bit so uh, it's way different in that respect too. Also, the the whole parts and everything, I think I was at about, without the, the uh, controllers, I was at about $20 for, for the whole package. And um, that is, I think that is a lot more affordable uh, while still being a functional package if you put microcontrollers on it. So, yeah, this is what... I wanted to uh, show. Uh, I hope that I can have a working demo by next week and uh, yeah let's see where this goes. So for today thank you very much for watching and goodbye.